But yeah, let's see how they do. Turn off the music. Turn on game sound. Here we go. Beautiful. I almost perfectly matched their uh, characters. <laughs> Little production things I got make me so happy. And there he goes. Whiprish. Straight away with the grenades. Wants to make a uh, couscous approach. And there he goes the approach, but uh, Whiprish going for an approach of his own with the Nair. Tries to interrupt in an air to air. But uh, Couscous wins that one. And now he is capitalizing on the, the little lead he has. I feel first hit only, but not a lot. Here's the second one. A bit of a scramble, but Wilbur gets away and he hits himself with the C4 and Yep, Snake. We got Snake here. Wilbur is playing Snake now. Or at least he's learning him. He's doing pretty good with him. He's been playing Snake a lot. He tried Snake uh, two days ago versus uh, Kuro. Yeah. It didn't end up so well, but he took one match with Snake. In a pretty hype way. You can check the clips. It's, it's like the first clip from uh, Wednesday. Be sure to check it out. And here it is. Wibby is just <laughs> winning all the trades because he's Snake. He won't let Puskus recover. Ah, oh, the spot was down tilt. That, that's a legend. <laughs> oh, they're down here. Big hit. The stall and fall moves are rather um, not used much on um, on higher level because they're just so predictable and so easily so easy to punish. But if your opponent doesn't expect it, it's it's a good move to use. And that common throw will kill. Nice side B. Ready will grab the opponent and drag them across the floor and then throw them. It's also a good kill move. Up smash will connect with both hits. Good damage. And Wilbrich now trying to set up a wall. But again, another sloppy approach being very nicely punished by Couscous. Fireballs from afar. But they disappear before they reach Wilbrich. Now the last hit of Nair will hit. Uh, Kuskus will hit Ridley in the mouth while he's charging. He was damaged to him, but no knockback. Which is very interesting. Oh, what an AB! What an AB, Kuskus! I think that's like the only move that would have killed there. But that's really good um, awareness from Kuskus. I'm sure Wilbris didn't expect that. And now he's got the lead. Snake without the lead, he's not able to set up his, a wall and force the opponent to, to approach as much. He matches too much with the snake, completely agree. Yeah. Uh, Wilbur is the kind of player that likes to press his buttons a lot. And the C4 is on the stage, he gets stuck under battlefield, unable to recover. That, that's gonna be the first game. For Couscous. He has to play more aggressively. Um, maybe. He's just approaching in a really bad way. Jump Nair is not the best approach you can do with Snake. Not at all. If you want to approach with Snake, you generally want to throw a projectile first. Make the opponent block. And then um, grab or dash attack. Most likely. Snake doesn't really approach in, in linear ways like jump nair. He prefers throwing grenades at the opponent and making them guess. Okay, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I just saw that my microphone was a tiny bit lower than usual. Oh, dash off. Yep, uh, Snake's dash is great. 
I... Wait, did Wilbrich even use dash attacks in this game? If he did, I didn't notice them, they weren't that important. A lot of f kids And other silly moves. But yeah, Wilbrich is the kind of player that he will easily... Easily adjust playstyle. This is the first match. We've got like... Still at least six more to go. Now to PS2. Pretty much the same stage as before, except bigger. So everybody will live longer, there's more space to camp, more space to... Uh... Ooh, the parry, I love that, I love that parry. And low profiles under the fireball, that was, that was amazing. The up smash, uh, the mortar is blocked after the get up attack from Kuskus. But not this time. Get up attack has a lot of luck, you really have to watch out. Get up attack. Ooh, nice throw. Specs the uh, the shield right there. Oh, and the up smash. Nice anti air from Wibbish. Takes the first stock. He uses the crawling very well. Snakes lying on the floor. Has such a low hitbox. And then he's got the access to the six frame up dude. Which is such a good anti air and such a good kill move. Here it is again, but Couscous knows exactly what to do about it. Both space F does the trick. And now he's looking for a kill, but already 84%. He'll not die from the next hit he takes from Woodbridge, but uh, that's a lot more than he would like to have right now. Oh, we're seeing a bit of lag. Oh, it punishes the air dodge! Oh, kind of a sloppy air dodge from Couscous. Will be able to take the stock there. Now he's gonna go for all the trades. Every single trade. Oh, and the C4 explodes. I think on the timer, it wasn't Wilbish exploding, it just exploded after uh, about a minute after placing it. And Couscous was charging. And then again, this time Wilbish deliberately explodes as well. Couscous running there. So much. Bonus damage tacked on from grenades, explosions. Snake is like the best character to punish not perfect play. He'll make you pay for every little mistake. Playing against Snake, you need to pay attention to every little grenade he drops, to every C4. Remember where it is. Don't flub any defensive options because he's just gonna punish you. Insane strong up tilt or black hair. Snake deals ton of damage in general. And that's game! That was probably bad DI from Couscous towards the end, but. Game is a game. And that's the second match. 1-1. One, one. So far pretty close. Couscous definitely can do it. He, the game might have seemed like really in Wibbrish's favor, but um, it's just how Snake plays with a lead. Snake with a lead is, is doubly hard to deal with because you can just set up walls and you're the one that has to deal with it. You're the one that have to go for trades that are unfavorable. He'll go for all of them. He'll take every single trade he can. As long as you're trading, Snake is winning. If he has the lead. That's why having the lead in this game is so crazy. So important. It's not only that, that you have to um, approach when the opponent has the lead. It's also just the fact that you can just go for trades and win. Just because of that. When you've got the lead, you can go for all the 50-50s because uh, statistically you're still gonna win. And now we're to Battlefield. Yet another stage. 
Uh, I think this one's rather good for snakes, so not entirely sure where Puskus picked this map. Maybe he's not aware. Maybe he doesn't know snakes good in stages. Maybe he doesn't know the matchup too well. Uh, we'll see. So far, it's fairly even. As even we can make this matchup. I think generally uh, snakes win this matchup quite well. He's really just a big body. So he has a hard time avoiding a lot of uh, explosions that Snake is putting out. Oh, he's, he's sticked! He has been sticked. But we'll be a bit, a bit early with the C4. To have saved it for a more opportune moment. But no problem, he's still got the lead. With ledge trap. Ah, it doesn't block the final nair. I played today with Wibbish uh, a little bit and yeah, it was... He was getting me too. It's that last hit. Dropping shield too early, trying to go for a punish, but... I need to block all of it. And now, spot, down smash, spot touch, down smash. Some of dirty online play, but... <laughs> works. In this game, sometimes... You just spot touch down smash and it works. Up tilts again. This goes kinda struggling to find a way in. Wibbish again with the lead and Kuskos rightfully so afraid to jump in and take damage. Oh that was good, that was good! Wibbish already air dodged but missed the ledge. I think if he air dodged directly up he would have grabbed the ledge. Nice up B to the ledge. Straight down. I mean as straight as uh, Ridley can go. Ridley's up B is quite specific. It can go directly up or at an angle down and a little bit forward. Or more forward but still kinda down. Or if he is goes going backward then he's going back and a little bit up. So actually the optimal way to recover with Ridley with just up B would be to face backwards to the ledge and the up B backwards. But not always. You can turn around yourself. Really can't turn around with double jumps in the air, but sometimes it's better to be facing towards the stage. Just because of options you can have like uh forward air to find people trying to edge guard. Nice back air, very nice rod back air. The bridge out of the air. It seemed into the less rep situation, but we fairly confidently dashes out of it. Ah, that was a big uh, overextension. This is just gonna stay the stage for free. Tries to upbeat trick again, but this time will be too far. Ah, this is gonna kill. Nice. Nice command throw from... Uh, there's a C4! It doesn't kill yet, but does a lot of damage. This has to land somehow. Nice back throw. Just to recover. Again with the up smash, less trap, but... Uh, Kuskus making use of the multi jumps of stage, but it doesn't matter. Wibbish still finds an up tilt and wins the round. Oh, wrong person. Gonna run a quick ad so it doesn't interrupt the next game. Yeah, this. This stage might not have been the best pick on Kuskus. There definitely are better stages you can pick. As really, I hope. Um, I'm not sure about maybe Smashville, but I, I tried my luck there. Small Battlefield maybe again. Uh, oh no, it's DSR. They're going to Yoshi's story, so Kuskus is definitely trying things. But... Um, Three, two, one, go! 
That's the story. This this is a very similar stage to Battlefield in a lot of ways. Not sure how much will change in the matchup. I think it's still gonna be tough for Couscous to approach. So it's crucial for him to get an early lead, but we're just making this so hard right now. Oh no, the overextension. Okay, now the situation turns around a bit, but mm, good weave punish from Wizbish. That's what like taking so much work for him. Recovering. The AP has a big enough hitbox to uh, beat Mikita. Oh, that's gonna be back throw. Oh no, he's too gross for the roll read, but. First up he gets blocked and Couscous unfortunately tries to shield grab the up tilt but the wrong way and gets up tilt in the face. Dash attack again, unpunished and just is taking three hits. For no reason. Couscous just oh no, that's so much damage. Another up air. We're just playing Ike up here, up here, up here, not letting the opponent land to the guy. Couscous. Uh, okay. Uh, this is gonna take it. Kill himself. Not much to say. He missed the legend, that's it. Sounds like that happens, especially online. Oh, the Aptitude there is indeed so scary. Kuskus managing to still leave. Uh, I, actually, I don't think the Aptitude would have killed just yet. That movie is crazy, but maybe not that crazy. Missed punish from uh, Ludwig, but finally, finally kill with the Nikita outstage. Such a good move. The Nikita. You just throw it out. Almost zero risk. Nice back air. We need some the stock, 23%, that's not bad. He needs to find a way without getting hit by the up smash. We're we'll just keep, gonna keep doing that because, I mean, look what they do. No friendly fire on the up smash, um, so... we we'll just keep doing it and, if the, and hope that the opponent will hit himself while hitting Wibbish. Oh, this fair uh, trades with the Mortar, but... Okay. The raw up smash misses completely. The downer gets blocked, but not the last hit, and Wubish is getting mileage off of it now. Again, the F2 punishes the roll. Both players roll, but F2 is being so fast. Let's throw. Okay. Oh, goes for the AP yet again. Hit the first time, so he tries. Second, third time and misses, but this time finally lands the side B. Come on, bro. Uh, it's 2 2. He struggled and struggled and ended up getting the round. It's even. The set's even now. Maybe he discovered something in this matchup. Sometimes you don't need to do like crazy plays to win against snakes. You just need to hit him enough times and he will not go for the trades anymore. I'm just gonna burst my microphone maybe a little bit more. Oh. Yeah, fortune too. Um, 24 minutes have passed, four games. 
the worst case, uh, it's gonna be... Uh, the longest case, I see. It's gonna be... 4 and 4, 8, 9 more matches. If they're gonna keep going back and forth. We're like... Not even halfway there. So in the first effect, first to seven, it's six six. The last match is the thirteenth uh, uh, match. Taken. The first to seven is the start thirteen. Right. Oh, the come on, bro! Barely doesn't kill. Carlos saves Wibbish's skin. Talos Wibbish is my favorite stage, it's really big. The one thing about the stage is huge. It's so wide. Ah uh, the 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 mortar falling down falls on top of Uskus during the common throw, so he's unable to find a kill there. No iframes on the common throw. But it actually like, cleans up the stock. Uskus actually with the lead right now. Wibbish is counter pick, but so far, I'm working out for Kuskus. Okay, it's even now. Oh, finds a quick nair. I think that was an unfortunate bar. I don't think he wanted to turn around there, but. Oh, two more nairs. Skipping Wibbish of the scene. Now, that would be, I respect that. If that would keep a lot of kill. The Abbey has a spike box and he's been down. Over tilt. Uh, it's an okay move to punish neutral get up. Uh, again, going for the whole stage. Now his chance for ledge trapping. Or juggles. Doesn't manage to find anything. Oh, trades. Trades again. Ah, oh, that's gonna be a big punish. That's right. But we guessed right. He expected to get up attack. He immediately punished with the up tilt. What's the dash attack again? Kuzco's finding dash attacks. On a wider stage, there's more space to run. So maybe Wibrish is expecting to be able to just outspace Kuzco's. But he's able to overshoot with the dash attack just enough. Down from there, but the C4 explodes and into the fair. It's 94% from Kuskus right now. He backs off a little bit, tries to do some physical games. Oh, very nice spacing on the forward there. If he hadn't drifted back there, he would have got a grab by the dash grab there. Jumps over the dash attack. Oh, look for the C4! Ah, nice. Nice from Wibbish. I think Kuskus realized the last second, but didn't manage to avoid in time. You need to be careful, you need to watch out where the C4 is. It is gonna kill you if you don't. Let me trigger all this off. Stepped on the pin. Stepped on the Lego. <laughs> yeah, you got to watch out where you, where you step. Actually, not even just while you step. Like, you gotta watch out for C4 in general. It's it's gonna hit you even if it's not right there under your feet. It's gonna hit you if it's above you. It's gonna hit you if it's next to you. Three, 
and back to SPF. And so SPF on this stage, Couscous won, so PSR does not play a role here. here. Uh, the last stage Woodbridge won on is, I think, uh, more Butterfield? Wait, no, he just won Kalos. Oh yeah, this, the DSR actually played a role. Uh, um, yeah, because Couscous won on... Yes, too, I don't remember. Right before I was. No, wait. Um, the first match was SBF, Couscous 1. Then Wubbish 1 2. And these were PS2 and then. And Battlefield. So Kukus won on Yoshi's story and then Woodbridge on um, uh, Kukus is the lead now playing brother reserve doing that English Ah, uh, thanks I I'm trying And the up tilt. <laughs> yeah, that move is it's kind of silly. If you're if you're not on point, if your punish is out of shield, it's gonna happen like this. So you're gonna block it. Hope you can punish it with something. Be too slow and end up getting hit by it again. It's a quick move. It's exactly the same in games with DPs. Like if you've got a move, if you've got a DP that doesn't have a ton of lag. Like, if somebody is not ready, they're gonna miss the punish and it's gonna happen. And if they miss punish, and they still try to go for it, you can just TP again and it's gonna hit them. But there aren't really TPs in Smash. Nice bucket. It's the uh, back roll. I mean, rolling. On the British. Oh, that's nice. Holds just enough and then goes for the command throw. Ah, oh, and now out of reach. A little bit unfortunate, but he had already a bunch of percent, so... Again, Ridley's big body playing a role here. He tries to get rid of the crane, throws it up, but... Not enough time passes for the crane to fly. And just explodes. Basically in their face. Everybody's going for the ass much again. It's not a good move. There's Nikita again, but misses. Okay, back here, no, no. They're, they're scrambling now. Nice block. That was nice. I like that. I like that. Not sure what exactly was expecting, but he did uh, get up attack there. But nice punch on Ludwig. And now he's just throwing grenades. Doesn't need to approach. Took the lead, and oh, that's gonna be that throw up tilt. Yep, that's that's game. You forgot about this, but it exists. And that's gonna be four to two. Ubers now winning two matches in a row. Carlos and SPF. So clearly. Stages aren't maybe the biggest factor, it's just how the players uh, play, how they, how the dynamic of the match goes. Woodbridge having lead does so much. Kuskus really has to watch out when he's approaching with Ridley. Because there might be a grenade on the other half stage and still hit him. Can't throw him to up tilt, yep, that's, that's a thing. 
If you get 160%, you're pretty much dead against Snake anyway. It's like... <laughs> kind of unnecessary, but it's there. Let's Snake kill consistently at 160. So you rarely see people going above that. Actually having a kill throw that kills at 160 is really good. Now throw up kill is not really a kill throw, it's a kill confirm, but basically the same thing. And gets the first damage with the C4 and then the Niki down. But Nair's gonna be punished though. Oh nice! Kuz was finding a perfect moment to Jumping the fairs, able to get some damage onto the bridge. Ah, but that's like blocked. And he does an automatic punish. Nice wait. Tries to go for it. Drop. At the edge, but. Was just waiting long enough. Yeah, and Wibbish is gonna make use of that Nikita. He's gonna know that the opponent is going for a block and the throw at him. Goes for reverse Nair, it doesn't hit anything, but not punish either. And all the scrambles, Wibbish is just winning them. Finally, a bigger hit from Couscous. Gonna be able to take a stock of that man. Really finds a dash attack, and now Kuzco has to recover. He has to deal with the up smashes. Finds a side B though. Very nice one. Right before the up smash comes out. And back to ah oh, down smash. Uh, yeah, but gets blocked, punished. Quite a lot of damage. Nair and Downer deal so much damage. Actually, X moves in general deal a lot of damage. Like Downer, if all the moves connect, it's like 24%. 22. Nothing crazy like that. Fair is like 19. Walker is like, I don't know, 13 or 15. Oh, nice side B. That's gonna kill. 156%, 150, one more hit, yep. No, down throw absolutely is an option. What are you gonna do now? Down throw, okay. Still alive. Goes for the F kill, but doesn't kill yet. Really not the heaviest character, but still kinda heavy. Next heavier though. Big for sure is heavier. It's kind of funny when you think about it. It really is a flying monster. So. So he needs. At least a little bit lighter. But again, Snake is cheating. He's flying too. Snake is flying. Snake is 100% flying with the Cypher. Bridge with your dash dancing neutral. Very hard to hit Snake's dash dancing. His dash is pretty fast for a character as he is. Oh, it goes for a weird option. Blocks a get up attack, but instead of going for uh, up tilt, he goes for the C4, but it was too far. Back here. Ah, uh, nice. That's gonna kill. Nice. We're just getting hit with the side B. Expected so many times. Oh, 
one for such a good move. One of the better ones too. It also doubles as a recovery move. Oh no! Okay. I thought he was gonna go up and kill Woodbridge right there and there. Oh, so close with the Nikita! Ah, uh, He had a good run! Good attempt at the combat, but... He was gonna get hit at some point. Now we are starting to see that this matchup is not that great for Ridley. Uh, so many things have to go right. Of course, be able to do anything meaningful. You can't just steal stocks like crazy fast. We've seen the abyss, but it seems that he has to use those. He's not really able to clutch out games without that. He had a nice string towards the end here, but just not enough. Wobbish can just do up tilts and. It's gonna hit the first moment. Uh, Kuskus not ready. One slip up and that's an up tilt in your face. That's tough. Find that next match. Um, we'll see. Right after this one. It's planned for 9 p.m. But if Couscous starts making a comeback, then oh, it goes in all these up smashes. If Couscous does a comeback, it, it might take a bit longer. Nice up smash! I love that. It's almost even. Nice back. Watch out for the C4. Yep, we're we'll just gonna explode it, but. He's out of options now, he's under the stage, he does the C4 recovery, he's so high up now. Is Kuskus gonna be able to punish? No! Unable to find the app smash there. Up tilt may have not been able to kill the And the up tilt beats down there! That's not a thing you see often in Smash. Smash is a game where um, ground moves often lose to aerial moves. Not in this case. It's up to just so good. 162%, but already 60 on Kuskus when it would be still so much damage. And down it again for other like 20 damage. Nair here, 90 damage. This is tough. Wibbish was on insane percent before, but finally. Too much damage to recover in T4. Oh, well, you're going for the up tilt. Up tilt itself deals 16%, so even if it doesn't kill, it's still a good move. Hit. You'd rather hit your opponent than not. Ah, oh, the down smash covers both sides. Kills Kuskus getting up. Looks so hard. Has, 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 has had this game going so well, but... Snake, man. Sometimes if you just don't kill him, you die. <laughs> you have to kill his stocks. Like, early enough. Because this is what's gonna happen. Now he has to deal with the, all of this. All of those, those mortars. All of those grenades. And this C4! What a stick from Wibridge! Oh, but, but it transferred back to Wibridge. Now it's... Bottom. Now it's back on... Uh, yeah, it didn't transfer back. One sixty percent and yeah. The C4 he just planted there. Oh, what a game from Webridge. That was a nice... Uh, that was a nice... Nice finish. So there's one more, one more chance for Couscous to stay alive in the set. One last chance. 
but he has to win five games in a row. Win. Rubis just needs one. Now think about it. The way these matches have been going, that's hard. He has to play on point. He has to play so on point. Not lose a single game. He has to deal with five counter pick stages from Rubrish. Gonna be easy. What? Okay, wrong stage apparently. That's not the stage they he wanted to go to. They wanted to go to SBF, but they went to Battlefield. Okay, nice start from Couscous. Oh, just uh, a little bit too early on the Dark Smash. And just like that, two hits and 60%. Oh, snakes, it's, it's so much damage. Hey, Couscous is gonna be trade, take that trade. Oh, the Asmunch hits. Kuskus as he's recovering. Not ideal. Of course. We're just gonna take any any damage. Tries to go for a C4 again, but way too slow this time. Kuskus just go for a side E and maybe a kill. Oh, okay. Uh, punish is an air. Yeah, that was a, that was a very early nair. Punish from the block. Even with the uh, shield drop up to it. I mean, drop shield up to it. Shield drop is something else. Which doesn't exist. Much 4. And all the previous games. Tries to go for an up air. Oh wait, good idea, but too many grenades and too early. But this time though, nice, that's something. The stock lead. We're just getting so close, goes on the roll read. He guesses the roll but doesn't react in time. Kuskus goes for the rapid jab after jab lock. Oh no, watch out for the fields, they're gonna kill! Okay, Nair doesn't kill yet, but the Nikita does. Nikita with already so many kills off stage. Such a dangerous move, such a good edge guard. Up tilt, okay. Advantages not to get exploded by the grenade. The game is still in Couscous' favor. But you need to watch out not to... Okay, that was nice. Grenade blew up in Lubish's hands. And the side B. It's not gonna be it yet. Next one might kill though. Kuskus looking for a... Something. Is the dash like he's in the forward tilt? Could be to throw Lubish off. Oh, dash like this. Oh yeah. Oh, side B, a little bit in space, he wanted to go from the ledge, may have hit them. And this dash attack is gonna take it! With uh, Couscous back on the board. He's got a mountain to climb, but it's not unknowable. He played just as, just as he did now.
get the first stock lead and keep it, keep it till the victory. Drag it all the way. Lilat. Oh, that's not Lilat. So they're gonna reset again. Yeah, this is not necessarily the stage I wanted to go. Here we are, Lilat. Ooh, Snake on Lilat. Maybe is really playing the statistics games now. Like, on the stage, it's gonna be really hard for Roscos to navigate. Hard to see the, the grenades. So far, you're working out perfectly for Woodbridge. Well, maybe not perfectly, perfectly, but good enough. Finally, first good hit for Kostos. Only Nair. Not the Nair, but... Oh, that up tilt. That's, that's the beginning of the end. So much damage already. He already lapped him in percent. Kostos is gonna have to take the stock quick. Don't win this. He gets the parry, but doesn't react to it. Grenades explodes in both players again. I'm gonna take all the trades. Oh, the nair. Yeah, that was a tough moment. I think he could have only air dodged it. Tough. And two stocks. Still alive. This dash attack still didn't kill at 100, 100%. That's gonna kill. At this percentage, I passed it. Oh, again, grenades into pocket. He's getting so much damage. Every little mystic. And this is the spike. What a finish. Finishing it in style. 7 to 3. Nice showing from Wilbrich. So now we're gonna go for a break for about five minutes.